actually work when we turned on the corner system. We were like almost on our clear yesterday afternoon and I like hit the off button on his phone. No. And then I was like, oh no, can I get back on? <laughs> okay. I'm going to pause the recording. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Student Managed Farm, powered by New, Ho New Holland Tour. My name is Courtney Wallace, and I am an Animal Science Technology second year student, part of the Purebred team, and I'm their PR. I came to Lakeland to get the experience of the hands-on, and it's an amazing program, and I'm excited to tell you about it. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Clark Nancy. I am a second year Animal Science Technology student. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah McDonald. I'm from, from Rock Creek, BC. I'm a second year student in the Crop Technology Program as well as the assistant general manager with the crop division on student managed farm. I grew up on a commercial cattle ranch. Uh, my family has about 150 head of commercial black Angus and a small purebred black Angus herd as well. And I came to Lakeland to diversify my knowledge of different agriculture commodities and learn a little, little bit more about the crop industry and make industry connections. So they were going to start our tour here at the Animal Health Clinic. This is an 8.2 million project that got renovated here in the last few years. The site here, you can work on large and small animals, and there's also a little pet store. You can buy some things for your animals. Okay, so look at the back side of our animal health clinic. And now we're going to head over to our uh, AI facility and look at some of the cattle. So here's our AI facility where some AI and horses are hauled if you have enough feed to support bringing more cattle on. As well, over here on our right, we have the purebred show cattle. So we have five heifers in here that we've been working on over the past few months and three bulls up ahead there, through, as well as that. With the purebred FMS team, if you were on the nutrition course, you'll get to come up with rations throughout the year to feed and make sure that you're reaching your 
average daily gain goal. And in your first year, you will learn uh, how to use different programs like cow bites to develop these rations. And now we're gonna head over to look at two, a few of the other facilities that all the teams work at and use. Well, as a weighing scale, as well as a few other tools that are needed 
to be throughout the cabin season. And don't forget, guys, there is a chat feature. And make sure that you get your questions answered as well. We're going to head over to our vineyard now and tell a little bit more about the crop technology program. Somebody want to. So this is our vineyard. It is kind of our home away from home for our crop technology students. So in the crop program, we farm about 950 acres of cultivated land. And then we have more land that we are kind of responsible for um, that is pasture and we work with the livestock programs to keep those in good health. So this is where the majority of our grain is stored. We do have a couple bins um, over west of the college that we refer to as barnyard. Um, our storage is obviously limited in comparison to what we farm. So we do have to market some very quickly. We've already sold all of our peas this year and we're in the process of selling our wheat and barley. So with the crop program, like all the other SMF units, the decisions are pretty much entirely up to the students. We divide into seven teams at the beginning of the year. Um, we work with our teams and we converse back and forth uh, to make decisions and then put together proposals, take it to the rest of our uh, fellow classmates and our advisors. And more often than not, the proposal goes through and we try different things and we experiment on the farm to see kind of what works best and use it as a learning opportunity. Uh, so over here, we have our feed bill as well. And in there is our moisture testing. So we do test every load that comes off the farm by. And that's another part of harvest. So uh, on a typical year like this year, we combine everything and we've got two trucks going. We haul grain here. Uh, someone unloads, someone takes a sample, and it's just a super busy couple months. So we were super lucky to get all of our grain off the field. Um, or all our crops, I guess, by kind of mid-October. So that was a super quick harvest. Um, another exciting thing with the crop program is that New Holland graciously sponsors us. So every couple of years we get a new combine. So this year we had a brand new 990 uh, that we got to operate and it was super exciting for lots of our students to be on state-of-the-art equipment and learning from that aspect as well. one of my classmates so there is an opportunity if you attend the college you can also work and be part of things on the weekend as well
Yeah, I think uh, my favorite part of SMF is probably the diversity. Uh, it's not very often that you get a chance to be part of a farm that has crops and beef animals and horses and dairy and all these different commodities. And so even if we're not in that program, we're still getting to see what our classmates or our fellow students are doing with their program and their um, agriculture commodity. And I think it's a really neat way to learn about the different aspects of agriculture. In this facility, we won't take bucks to record the daily intake of the animals individually. As well as with the research team, they have 80 Angus Corporate crosses that are not here at the moment because they have later in the year, so they're still out on hot pasture getting ready to be weaned. We go over in this one, we have the research team. Peppers, I can tell you daily, and get milk checked twice a day. Uh, over here, we have the commercial staff, which are our uh, replacement peppers. Uh, so a little bit about the commercial uh, team. We are part of the 100 Angus Semitol cattle. Um, so the commercial team, they do a lot of marketing on us. So we don't really go on farm. We have new device coming to our this year also, which is which will be red instead of space black, which is awesome. Um yeah, that's the commercial Do you ladies want to tell us just a little bit more about the Charlet ones that we passed on our way in? So those Charlet animals are all these animals that they're doing on and I'm not hundred percent sure but if you want to email Alan.mcmillan at lowtimecollars.ca you'll be able to get you some more information on that. But Obi is one of the research uh, like helpers. He helps donate, helps come in and help teach the kids. So those are his animals that they're running tests for, but I'm not hundred percent sure what tests they're running at the moment. As well as with the research team, they do the doors for each hundred Sorry, it goes for 365 days of grazing with their animals, which I think is pretty neat. Sorry. <laughs> Over on 
That's my mother. <laughs> to this year I was operating a combine all on my own so it's a really great place to get some experience and to learn about different commodities and I would highly encourage you to just look into it and take that jump and apply for the program that you want to be part of because there is no better place to learn than here at Lakeland College. I guess that concludes our tour for today. I just want to extend a huge thank you to New Holland Agriculture uh, our student managed farm would not be possible without their support. So thank you, New Holland. And thank you guys so much for joining us. If you do have any questions, we highly encourage you to reach out to Alan McMillan, our academic advisor, and he would be more than happy to answer your questions or send you in the right direction to get the answers you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Hope to see you next year.